or behavior. Okay. So there are a number of the um, uh, right. Okay. The problem, you know, as um, um, has been discussed in one of the morning talk, this task has been, you know, um, pretty widely studied. Okay. So, uh, so for example, for to generate this three you know, structure of the neuron, typically what people want to do is that they see piece by piece. Okay. For example, get the kind of coded, you know, structure showing the right. Okay. And if you for local structure, they, you know, what most of they use the local structure, for example, like the small spheres, you know, and aggregate such structure, okay, and then model the reconstructing neuron. How can we cover for the image to generate such a structure? There are existing methods. For example, <coughs> that just said, you can use a sphere to model the basic uh, unit. Change such a kernel, okay. For example, okay, you can also change to some other model, like, like uh, some, and you can consider different way to do the thing, okay. One thing could this paper detect the edge of the neuron, okay. As you detect the edge, you can be a sphere, okay. and then you can you use the model. Way is that you could act along different directions, okay, and then estimate the structure. In this month, I actually, actually published a, a pretty nice piece of uh, <coughs> However, the point is that most of this. this Matter the local search. Okay. So basically, you need to have a structure, and then based on that, the the structure. Okay, this kind of the number of problems. For example, um, f um, when you have this um, uh, image, you can see there are not all noise, right? Okay, to trace this new structure from the two points. Actually, I do have a point from here down there. Okay, you can see the signal here pretty strong, but the signal here very weak, and there is also a gap. Okay, there are not a haze around. Okay, to make it very difficult to complete the structure, and for this you could actually blame this problem is a problem related to the quality, image quality. But there are some problems that when you use the um, uh, microscopy you cannot avoid is that basically. A lot of times, the neural structure, they have a lot of punctures. Over okay. here, um, uh, actinoma vesicle actually get enriched there. Okay. So that if you want to um, arise the problem that uh, for the broad side, and uh, also along this axon for the C-Alica neuron, okay, as you don't want to make this part, you know, completely saturated, you want the part to connect them, okay, very dim. Okay. So this is biological. And you cannot you cannot avoid that. All right. And if you look at different uh, algorithms, for example, you use the same thing. All right. And if you look at the, basically, you say the same thing. Okay. So the question we ask is the harm is problem, but the complete structure, when you know no single edge, due to the local edge or to biological reason. So basically, this paper basically want to did is a way to trace the neuron structures from the three dimensional images. So is that given where there are a lot of noise uh, and you can um, see stars, you know, um, uh, which are bright, to generate a complete structure. Okay, and our method actually consists of two step is called the graph step. The second uh, step is called the deformable. I'll show you the details in, uh, in, the, in the next night. Okay. But the idea is that you want to use, combine the two steps to encode global cue to guide you to trace the neuron. Okay. So this is really different because we really want to introduce a global formation into 
to computing framework so that makes the tracing possible. And for that, for, um, uh, for the um, input image, we will be able to have a complete structure, you know, traced in our method. So this um, gives you a little bit better idea what you want to do. Suppose you have a point P1 and P2. Uh, the P1 is here and P2 is there. Okay. So uh, the way our algorithm works is that so the ideal path would be something like okay, go smoothly, you know, from P1 to P2. Okay. But how can we generate such a um, solution? So the basic idea is that for the first step, you want to generate the shortest path through the graph step. Okay. We call it a weighted shortest path. Okay by the yellow color here. So this shortest path is the global optimum. Um, I, I, I'm going to talk about why it's a global optimum on the next slide. But it's a global optimum for that particular formulation. However, this global optimum may not correspond to the biologically or even visually meaningful path, by path right? OK, so the second step is format. OK, so that, you know, and you basically Use uh, um, the the dot curl as the initialization, okay, and, and then form such a uh, to get the uh, to to make it as close, um, as possible to the path. All right, so that's how our algorithm work. So for this two steps. So for the first part, the weighted shortest path. Actually, we use the geodesic shortest path. So why is geodesic? Because actually, because we introduce the weight there. Okay. So for the two dimensional case, okay. Suppose this is the image, and each dot is the image pixel. We model this as a graph vertex. Okay. And because this is a graph node, we need to define the edge, you know, between them. Okay. We only define the edge between the spatially adjacent node. All right. And the weight of a particular edge, for example, for C i and C j, two nodes, are the <coughs> aggregated version of their spatial distance. Okay, their Euclidean distance times. Uh, the average of their transformed value. And in this case, actually, their transformed value basically is just an exponential function. So if both, basically, that indicates if both of the two pixels, they are bright, so um, they should more likely to have an edge connect them. Okay, if both are very dark, then we should not really consider an edge between them. So, the, so that value will be relatively low, okay? And to find the shortest path, of course, we need to invert that, okay? So make this, you know, minimal, all right? So as you can see in two, so for these two nodes, there are several possible paths from here, direct down here, and from here, go this way, from here, go this way, right? And in 3D, the case could be a little bit more complicated, and we'll have more edges, okay? So the details will be in the paper, all right? So, but that's the basic idea to find the shortest path. And after we have that, then to deform the curl, and we adapt a previous method, 2008. Uh, oh, actually, this is not very visible. Um, um, let's try. Okay. So basically, the, 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 this red dot curl actually deformed. Okay. So basically, from the, um, the, the initialization, to the visually the best possible path. All right. With this method, we will be able to um, um, the neural structure. So the first step is that we first have an input image, and then with this method, we can actually estimate what would be the best skeleton, okay, indicated by the red curl. And so each dot along the path here, okay, we actually Estimate one best diameter of this um, uh, 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 neural reconstruction. Okay. And for that, actually, we use the small sphere below its size. As long as the covered region has a local context, which is maximal, then we will stop there. And with this, we can get the complete reconstruction for this particular path. So now you may have a question. Okay, for the uh, complete dimensional structure or neuron, which could be very complicated, okay, which could correspond to a lot of branches, 
function. How can you find out these functions? You have just talked about how to find out in, in individual segments, right? Okay. So the idea to do that is actually we assume if you have the, some knowledge about where should you terminal, okay, and when you run the short pass algorithm and we use digest, and then that's a one um, um, starting point to end uh, um, uh, ending point, right? So it, the shortest path algorithm will automatically tell you all the possible paths, okay? And then you can actually consider which path can back and then merge at some point, and that merging point will correspond to the branching point automatically. And with this, we will be able to reconstruct the entire structure. Really. We actually have our recent um, uh, um, a system called V3D, which is very powerful. It's net UBS, which is quite big, by some ordinary memory. Like a laptop, it's a weak thing. So, what you see is Anywhere you can see it, just one, you know, device help. Okay, work in nature biotech, but after we incorporate, we use it to tweak neuron, but you can stack and use. Just one profile, okay. Similar to just a neuron, you can the profile along focus on neuron facing. So we three. So this so um <coughs> at the beginning basically you load the image, you drag and drop the image into V3D. Okay. It lets you be able to very easily to pinpoint anywhere you want. Okay, you could, in principle, you know, just immediately click a lot of points to specify what are the terminal point you want to trace and then select one as the root. But if you hit clean, okay, you have an alternative is called the auto marker. Okay, it and you click auto marker, it actually detects a lot of problems. Okay, for you automatically. Then you can channel them as a root point, the starting location to start the tracing. Okay, and then you trace the structure. And then you can immediately rotate it around to the intersection, to the frame. And if you're unhappy with any part, you can edit the structure right away. All right. And in this way, so the reconstructed neural structure is always reliable. So they, for this one, we actually call the V3D 1.0. But you can, uh, but this will release the version with the new on two point zero, you know, on the on the train with the new uh, with the one point zero information with in two point zero concept imposed by the. Put it by the um, 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 user. For example, in this way, what you want to do is that you directly click, okay, you want to draw the 3D curve after, and then you just draw it, okay? Remember, this is a 3D you know, stack, okay? Right now, you are seeing the three dimensional you know, stack, but not the 2D stack, okay? And then you, you go there, and then you get the cut pass, and you can rotate. You see, actually, it's cracked. Okay, and then you can continue to do this. It will, the software automatically figure out all this branching thing, all the three-dimensional depth information, all the information automatically. All right. And with this tool, we will be able to trace very complicated structure, like even like a forest of neurons, okay, in a short uh, amount of time. Okay. So, um, and further, we actually use two of um, two uh, uh, 
two occasions. For example, this is the fruit fly brain. Okay, this is about about uh, thirty um, thousand times um, bigger than the real fruit fly brain. So the, the nice part about this fruit fly brain actually is contained about one hundred thousand mouth and about two of them actually are strongly stereotyped. And we want to generate a three D um, um, fruit fly brain. And this is actually we um, see, I have, um, for example, we actually build a three atlas, but this is just a result of the atlas. Each um, um, row here actually corresponds to one of the genetic lines, right? a subset of the and, and And if I actually, for example, we actually have a genetic line that highlights different and so on, right? Okay. So with for example, we a number of the red check also the okay. um, and um, for check actually comes out more than I compute spatial variable. Uh, I use the width of individual check as you can see. The and this is the first time mission through the entire brain. You can some other for example can catalog the different of uh, So this is the base feeling model. Different color indicate the different uh, neural uh, track. Okay, and for better visualization, you can actually only display their skeleton. Okay, and from this skeleton, you can actually tell uh, once the their um, projection is where the neurons actually wire. For example, if I display all this compartment, you know, together, actually we can see where the, all this neural track goes. Okay. As you can imagine, we can add we can actually add many more lines. Just uh, uh, job. Okay. When you have for example Lines reconstruction, you can see the uh, very beautiful and complicated. Proof fly brain, not a you know entity we could study. Okay, For another question we ask is that can we get the um, distribution of the uh, buttons okay in the mouse brain? Okay, the boot actually now actually have been done as the bright blob here. They are just anti. Okay. Um, so the conventional way to do this is that people cut off a small chunk of the um, brain's image and then either manual or automatically you know count how many um, um, blob are there. However, the this method is um, um, intrinsically limited because it does not tell you information about the connectivity of the neuron, which should be a very natural constraint there. Okay, and for this <coughs> data, what we did is that we first trace a lot of neuron out of the, this three-dimensional image, and then we only detect the button on this one. Okay, so It's allowed to put on very dark way. Don't twist the green arrows. A lot of you know, here, like all the action. Okay, to use the from the track in my uh, dimension about the um, this is the uh, um, density of the back. for three dimension tracing and the tool right now you can download you can use that okay
for free. Um, we uh, add new plugin. Use that and if and I like at the Geneva farm to uh, like a Jerry Bean Julius Brother Sturgeon. So, um, advocate. One of the events we are going to have uh, um, the medical image uh, conference here. We will have we are going to have a lens about microscopy image visualization, um, and the topic we are going to talk in three. Uh, 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 my crop don't talk about most of the exciting the algorithm part and also how to write how to use a um, uh, um, best tool with analysis so if you have interest please I know this is a in the mushroom. The fidelity of how confident are you? It's very confident because we know it's correct. Because when you do it, it's right. Right. Your solid brain is a particular about a micron. I mean, it's it's been wired that you know nothing get wired together at the level. Wondering if you tried the have many years problem focus with the whole plane and all right. Yeah. I'm gonna have you try to apply it. It's a same deal to your for the for the is actually just we try that many times. You look at the image. You may use three image. Please you out. It's close to another very, very good question. So uh, I don't think there's a simple way to avoid the problem. About the age, you see, uh, uh, separate. How But there are many way with renewable. But this thing is this thing just one. Okay, but you will just lambo 
Oh, this is a pop. Okay, so basically, well, actually, about 10 seconds, you know, two pointer base. Your master, so, so it's you know, it's fast each other, and for you to go there. So, it's in relation with that, I mean, the neuron chain, I just mentioned, okay, we. We also ask depends on the colleagues. Sometimes the dentist okay, so also provides some way you for every kind of way put fear around it and then grow to take a test there. Okay, and if you enrich that. We will stop there. The